welcome back to another edition of Creative Friday. This is our last one. We have had a wonderful four weeks of doing art. I hope you are enjoying the projects. I've got one that I think you'll enjoy. You can have years and years of fun with this. They're pinwheels and you can make them out of any material. We are uh, choosing to make them out of transparency paper, which is in the packet that you picked up. Always remember, keep your hands clean, okay? As you can see, it's just like sticking to the paper. And so that means it's getting all kind of stuff on it. So get a paper towel and just wipe it off really good. And if you don't have a transparency, you can make your own template. All you need is a piece of paper and you can make a square. I chose to make a six by six square. And then you just take a ruler and you line up your uh, corner to corner, draw a line, corner to corner, and draw a line, leaving a space um, about an inch from the middle. Okay? And put a little hole on each corner and your template's ready, just like ours. Okay, you all ready? I suggest when you are uh, painting to put a piece of paper behind this so you can see it's a pretty clear transparency. I have one that's already painted. And I've started with this one. You can paint it any color. You've got your paints here. You can use these paints, paints you have at home. Um, and, you know, I've even seen some clear. So, you know, it's up to you. So you don't have to worry about painting all in the lines and everything or being particular uh, because you're gonna cut this out. This is your template. What you wanna do is cover the whole piece with color. Now, I chose to paint the entire background yellow. You might choose to paint each section a different color. That's up to you. Uh, but it's easier if you just paint one color. Now, you have to let it dry, okay? So if you do paint, just set it down, just let it dry. It takes about an hour or two to dry, okay? The first coat, because you probably don't want just a one color pinwheel. You want to add some color. So after it dries, then you can add some color. Here I chose uh, to add some circles, and you can do whatever, dots. This particular pinwheel was made with uh, white paint on the tip of an eraser. After it's dry, then you want to cut it. And so you cut the template out, following the line. And you want to cut just to where the end of this line goes. So you want to cut it up. Cut it again. And you want to do this for all four sides of your, when your pinwheel. And so you have your pinwheel ready. We're going to use the one that we've decorated. So we put, add some color to this. Now in your packet, you also have um, a stick pin. And if you don't have the packet, you can use a push pin, um, but you need something that's going to give you some length because you need to separate it from the stick. There's a hole. That's where your pin's gonna go. You're gonna roll it over, so one hole. You gotta keep those holes lined up. That's what happens. Holding that in place so that we can put that hole in there. There you go. And then our last one. So make sure those holes are all lined up and hold it tight and firm so you don't lose it. Here we go. That's how to do it. So you might want to um, punch your holes before time. 
that'll help too. Okay, now I just push that all the way through and holding it like that. So that's the beginning. In your box, we've given you some beads. And these beads will really help with your project. And I'm gonna choose some beads that look kind of like my pinwheel. And you can use um, two, three, depending on how big the beads are. You want enough space, and that one's kind of big, so I don't want to use one that big. I'll use this one. Okay. So I've added some beads. Okay. And in your kit, you have a doll uh, like this, and the holes are already drilled in it. And you want to press that pin into the hole of that uh, doll. And I suggest you lay it down. That way you don't, you're not doing this and you go, ah, stuck your, stick your finger. And then just press. If you think you, it's, you think it's too hard for you, you can get an adult to help you. You can push the pin in the middle here. Just kind of wiggle it a little bit. I got mine in by wiggling it, and I just twist it, twist it. Take your time, it's not a hurry. You don't have to force it, you don't have to break the pin, you don't have to uh, use a hammer or anything. Just keep gently twisting, and it will go right into this wood, like so. And your beads are there to separate it from the stick so you can blow. So have fun with your pinwheels. I would love to see pictures of all of your art projects. Do send them, uh, post them on our Facebook page. Enter the art contest that we have. If I could save the world, what does that look like to you? Either painting drawing, or poem, essay, rap, lyrics to a song, however, whatever your art form is, let's do this. I love you. I'm so glad that you joined us. It's been my pleasure to do these art projects with you. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks for joining. Bye.